It's Ruby and today I'm going to be sharing a day in my life and I'm going to be focusing on writing today. So if you didn't know I'm doing a writing for children's module this year. Um, it's only that module and then my dissertation because you only do one module in your final term. It's so unlike any module I've ever done. I did a creative writing module in first year actually but that was alongside more academic modules and so it, it is very strange. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like a university class I suppose um but I'm really enjoying it it's incredible to have the excuse to just sit there and write because um my favorite thing to do is write so this morning I just did some dissertation work because there was something I really wanted to get done basically there was something for my dissertation which I've been procrastinating and I meant to do it yesterday and just didn't and so I sat down this morning from 7 30 to 10 30 and got that finished which I'm really happy about I'm at the house at the moment but I think I'll probably go out to a cafe or the library. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm gonna make a to-do list and note down some bits that I want to get done today. I'll check back in with you afterwards. I've written a to-do list and I've decided to go downstairs to read some of Loveless by Alice Osman. This is one of the books that was recommended um, and I've also been really wanting to read it. I'm so very excited. I'm going to go downstairs and I'm just going to read on the sofa for a little bit um, before lunch. Okay, I'm just going to quickly jump in to tell you that today's video is very kindly sponsored by NordVPN. Since I was studying in a cafe this day, I did change my VPN address. Um, I make a habit of doing this when I study out of the house, just because it helps to keep your data more secure. Um, and NordVPN is actually the fastest VPN server out there. It's incredibly easy to use. You have got this map and it's got all of these different pins on for different countries. And then you just click on the pin to change your location. It's literally as easy as two clicks. And you can access 5,200 servers in 59 different countries. So if you've been looking for a way to change your VPN, you've been thinking of signing up to something like this, I have actually got a link which will get you one free month off the two year plan plus a huge discount. So the link will be left down below in the description and without further ado, let's get back to the video and genuinely the loveliest writing session at The Exploding Bakery, which is one of my favorite cafes next to. Anyway, today I went to the Exploding Bakery. I got a pu'er tea, uh, which I'd never tried before. So I was working on two things here. First of all, I wrote a chapter of the middle grade book that I'm writing for my children's writing module.
I did that for about an hour and then after that I was working on the book that I'm restructuring and editing at the moment uh, for my literary agent. So I ended up rewriting three of the chapters before my laptop ran out of charge. I picked up some Rubus tea on the way back and I popped into Exeter Library to return some books and also get out some YA books. And I say it's for my module, but let's be real, I mainly chose these, chose these books because they looked very, very good. I'm back now from town and I just want to quickly show you the library books that I picked up. We're doing YA at the moment, so we started with picked books, then we went to middle grade, and now we're on YA. And so I just picked up four YA books. These are all due at the end of term, like on the last day of term basically now, and so I'm hoping to read these over the next few weeks, and they all look so good. So the first one is The Cousins by Karen M. McManus, who wrote One of Us Is Lying, and um, One of Us Is Lying is actually one of the books we're looking at for this module. I think we're reading it next week, but I've already read it, so I thought I'd read this one. It's not part of a series, but um, I think it'd be useful for thinking about the branding of YA authors. The Story family are the envy of their neighbours, rich, beautiful, and glamorous, until it falls apart. The four children are suddenly dropped by their mother with a single sentence, you know what you did they never hear from her again. I mean, it just sounds so, so good. Then the next one is One by Sarah Crossan, which won the Carnegie a couple years ago. And I remember my librarian at school saying, you need to read this, you need to read this. Like she loved it when we were like reading the Carnegie short and long list. And I just didn't read it, um, but I really want to. My friends Felicity and Verity, it's one of their favorite books. Um, it's all written in poems, which is really cool, and it's about conjoined twins. So Grace and Tippy are used to being stared at and sneered at. They're conjoined twins and united in blood and bone. What they want is to be seen as two people, to find friendship and acceptance and maybe even love. Then the next book is How I Live Now by Meg Rossoff, which I've wanted to read since the film came out in 2014. So really excited I got this from the library. And then the final one, The Disreputable History of Frankie Landau Banks. We Will Eyes was so famous on BookTok and I loved it. Like I read it in 2014 and one of my favorite YA books. I think it's wonderful. And so I'm really excited to read something else that she's written. I haven't really liked the look of any of her other books. And I mean, this is one that I equally had seen but didn't want to buy because I wasn't sure if I was actually going to like the storyline. Frankie Landau Banks attends one of the most privileged schools in the country. She is popular, cute and funny. Her main preoccupation is the gorgeous Matthew Livingston but that's not all there is to Frankie. She's also smart. Then Frankie discovers Matthew has been keeping secrets from her. What will she do to get even? How far will she go? It is up to Frankie. So it doesn't really sound like the kind of thing I would usually pick up. Like, I don't know, the main preoccupation with the gorgeous Matthew you Livingston. I don't know, but I really loved We All Eyes, and so I'm going to give it a go. Um, it might surprise me, and I'll let you know what I think of this. But that is my book haul, and now I'm going to do some more writing, I think. So then next I planned the full synopsis of that middle grade book, made a page for each chapter, and sorted out the specifics of the plot to make sure that there weren't any plot holes. I'm just doing some research into electric stand mixes at the moment trying to figure out how much they cost at the time and I'm really struggling to find any adverts. Yeah basically as part of that I was researching stand mixes. I feel like when you're writing you end up researching really random things. I also worked some more on the book I'm restructuring and I basically wanted to rewrite chapter 21 and then add in two new chapters and so I got started on doing that now. You have a beautiful dinner. This is the, oh I should get the box, it's the m and Rui Boss 40 bag How do you box. Rui Boss? Rui Boss. I can't say Rui Boss, I say Rui Boss. Rui Boss. Rui Boss. I always say it wrong, I'm definitely saying it wrong. I always say Redbush. But it's so good, oh my gosh, like both of us love. Mm-hmm. Redbush. Blakey and I chatted for a while after dinner and tried the new Rebos tea, which was really good. And then I went back up to my room. I just worked some more on those chapters I said I wanted to get done. I'm really loving spending so much of my time writing at the moment. I'm doing my dissertation, which is obviously more academic. And then I've just got this window for writing and um, 
researching, reading children's books. I mean, it's it's honestly so much fun. And I think children's literature is the most important literature there is personally um, because the books that we read when we're young really shape us. They change the people we become. They help, help us see new things. They inform our opinions and the way we see the world. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have a productive